fantastic because we haven't really had a, an Australian sprinter go to Ascot for, for a few years now. So I know Nature Strip uh, and Home Affairs, both trained by Chris Waller, are, are keen to sort of go there. And I know the connections are as well. So it'd be great to see them go there. As you said, we had a fantastic record uh, from Black Caviar, the great Black Caviar, when she won down the straight was so thrilling. And Miss Andretti and there's, there's so many. Chaussee, who was the original horse to, to, to break the... The, the whole thing of Australians going over there and winning at Royal Ascot. So I think it'd be great. I know Nick Smith from Royal Ascot, who usually comes out here, um, isn't here uh, for the Lightning. It's usually his uh, normal trip to be here, but I know he's very keen to get some Australians back at Royal Ascot. And I think it's great for our racing too, if we've got our best sprinters on, on the world stage there at Royal Ascot. So really looking forward to that and hopefully Nature Strip and Home Affairs. And you never know, some, something else, what's that may go. So... Uh, Let's hope they do, they go flying the flag for Australia. Home Affairs has matured into a, a stronger horse, uh, which is great to see. And mentally, I think he's gone forward as well. He's a very relaxed horse now. And um, yeah, he looks a picture of health and, and really developed into the cult that you'd expect. And Nature Strips held his own. He's He had a great spring and um, good off time and he's come back well and not a lot's changed with him physically. I think you're seeing a, a continuation of him being more relaxed and it was great to see him not just tearing off today. It looked like um, Jamie had full control of him which is great. Well Home Affairs he's only raced the once so it gives him a little bit more experience and Nature Strip it just fits in well. Uh, make sure, it makes sure that he doesn't get too fresh and Creatures of habit, horse trainers, so when it works well, we seem to follow a similar path. They're both good colts. His home affairs, his win in the Cornwall was was very dominant. Um, he's a slightly bigger horse, but not a lot. They're just good horses. They're hard to find and a privilege to be trained. Andy's doing it so effortlessly and uh, I said every time I get on him, he just gets more and more relaxed. He's just, I think he was a late maturer, but he, he's just, um, he's an absolute ripper to ride out there. He was, he was so calm today and did everything right. We weren't sure what was going to um, happen and how it was going to play out, but um, we were just waiting patiently and happy to ride um, either of the two. But obviously, uh, when I got the call up for Nature Strip, I had a big smile on my face.